Hello and welcome to another edition of the Dallas After Show here on JLJ Media. I am your host, James Lott Jr. And as you saw from the title, this is about Gary Ewing's first appearance on Dallas and his first appearance on Knott's Landing, played by two different actors, of course. Um, I was, I'm fascinated by the character of Gary Ewing because he is the bridge between the two shows. <clears throat> you already have Dallas fans know this already, but if you're if if you're not a done all the history, just briefly, Knott's Landing was written first. CBS wants to be more glitzier, so Dallas was created by David Jacobs, and that went out first. A year later, Knott's Landing was premiered, both on CBS. Uh, Dallas lasted thirteen seasons. Knott's Landing lasted fourteen, um, and they found a way to have. Not saying be the spinoff of Dallas by using Gary. Um, but I was thinking about the first appearance of Gary, period, because he wasn't part of the first season. As you know, the first season had the episodes where there are the five episodes in 78. He came on season two, an episode called Reunion. Um, and so the first actor to play him was a guy named David Ackroyd. So not Dan Aykroyd, who we were like, Dan Aykroyd played him? No, David Aykroyd was his name and actor who had a few credits to his name. But the show centered around Bobby and JR's sibling relationship. This Gary person is a brother. It was a middle brother, Garrison Arthur Ewing. Um, he wasn't part of it. And I thought it was an interesting choice that they took a brother and had him lead a show, another show, and not like a cousin or an uncle or, or, or one of the kids. It was, it was literally, there were two brothers always on Dallas. Well, Ray, if you count a third brother later, and Gary was always off in California. Um, it's funny because I remember, I remember the scene. Um, and, it was, and I had to look up to make sure I want to get the right name of it. It was called Reunion Part One, was the name of the episode. Because I know you guys out there like to know exactly where to find it, we want to find it in season two. There's a, there's a two part episode, it was part one. And Bobby and them had a big party and they were cleaning up and, and Bobby and, and Pam were gonna hang out or whatever and the door knocks. And it's funny because you think, well, you know your brother, but Bobby's in a hurry, he lets this guy in. The guy's like, I wanna clean up the party. And he's like, you know, don't worry about it, we'll just come back later, we're gonna, you know, I wanna leave my wife. And, and he looks up and it's this guy. Us as an audience, we're like, okay, there's some guy. But he's like, Gary. And, and I remember back in the day, for me, there was no putting two two together because we just didn't, there was no way to talk about him that much. I mean, Lucy was his daughter, but like, you just, I didn't put two and two together. I remember that. I just, just didn't put two and together. I was like, what's this guy? And he hugs him and he's happy to see him. Um, and and we're all, and it's so instant intrigue, like instant intrigue. You're like, well, why is this guy here? Bobby's happy to see him. Pam comes down, and there's a there's a, that scene. Pam looks hot, hot. Thing. Victoria Principal was just just so beautiful back then, especially just so beautiful. Um, and she comes out, she comes down in her old bathing suit, but she's putting on her shawl or whatever, her little thing of her bathing suit, and like, who's this man in here? And but and Bobby introduces him. And this is my brother, Gary. And Bobby is like, and Pam is like, I kind of like, I'm like, Gary, like Gary. Oh, that Gary. So we have the brother. Now, at this time, he was on. I'm thinking, oh, he brought another brother on. Second season, totally makes sense in the scheme of things. You know, first season, you set things up. Next season, you go to the next level. And a lot of times, and you know this in soaps and shows, they add relatives. That's what happens. Relatives come on. That's that's normal. So, oh, we got, really, we got another relative. And then again, Lucy's father. At this point, there was no Lucy's mother. There was no like that. It was all about this is Lucy's father. Uh, we're dealing with the moment. And the next scene or so, they go to commercial. Next scene or so, they sit down and we get filled in. Kind of like a quick history because he was gone. I believe it was 16 years at that point or 15, 16 years. He was gone. And he talks about his kind of last few adventures that we learned that he has a gambling problem, has an alcohol problem. Um, he has uh, had some issues in debt. He was beat up. Yeah, he, he was living this kind of 
near do well life. And we're thinking, and I'm thinking, and I know for me, and probably many of you out there are watching, thinking, well, why isn't he at South Ford? Why isn't he, you know, maybe he should come in part of the Ewing thing. And, but you could tell, I mean, for me, I could tell that Gary was different. Like he wasn't like them. Like he just, he just seemed different from the, and Dan, and David Ackroyd's performance was just so sweet and so kind of like matter of fact. And like, I just, I, I felt like he just was a different type of viewing just from the, the first episode. Um, and then and I was watching, I was rewatching it again just for the, for the show. And the best part of the scene is where he's talking about his life and how he got to, and how he got to uh, back to Dallas and, it was like, how do you get over your addiction? I'm a bartender. And they're kind of laughing. How do you over gambling? I work at a blackjack table. Like it's kind of like, oh, you like you work at an ice cream place and you get tired of ice cream after a while. You don't want any ice cream anymore. It's, it's probably not the most healthy thing, but that was kind of funny. And then it turns. It's like, it's like they're catching up. It's all kind of fun and games. And they kind of turns a little serious. The mention of Jock, their father, and then Jr. Mentions Jr. And it's, we don't know if like we like the full story is to come out in that scene, but you could tell, ooh, there's some stuff going on there. And Pam bonds with Gary, so they, they, and actually says, "We have something in common." And Bobby says so innocently. It's the best part of the scene. Jerry isn't that bad, and they all start laughing. So I thought that was it's such a cute scene. Um, but that's where Gary first, you know came on the show as far as his first appearance. You can look it up on any of the, if you have the Dallas um, DVDs or go online, uh, but it's just like, that was his first appearance. Um, David Ackroyd could not go on to the Knott's Landing show. So if all these Knott's Landing fans or Dallas fans don't know this, he couldn't, he couldn't, schedules couldn't permit. So he hired Ted Shackelford and that's who debuted. And I actually rewatched that episode again uh, the first episode of Knott's Landing, which premiered in 79. And and, uh, and that episode's really interesting because it's such a different flavor than Dallas. Um, and it's like, they didn't do it on Dallas. Like they didn't do like, let's do the Knott's Landing set on, so this show it on Dallas and then spin it off. It was just more like, we're starting from a new. And you see Bobby, Bobby's first coming out of the, the old 70s car. You know, like, like a Cadillac or something. Um, and then you see really innocent looking Valine. Oh my God, Joan Van Arken looks so young and innocent. Then you see the new Gary and Ted Shackelford, the blondness, uh, which I think is also an interesting choice that he was blonder compared to JR and Bobby who had darker hair. Okay, he's on the, he was kind of the fair haired boy. Um, and if you remember this, so Miss Ellie buys him this house, buys him this house. So they, you know, Gary was born um, while Jock was in World War II. They could see before he left. And so it was always kind of viewed between the two of them that he was born Miss Ellie's child. Um, his affinity for his mother was very, very close. We find out later, of course, that, you know, he was driven, him and Valley were driven apart. That's why they have Lucy. And just within those scenes, you know, it's funny because I, was, I, 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 look, you know, I had to look over again. I remember watching it when it came out. And I watched the premiere of Knott's Landing because it was a Dallas spinoff because we knew it was a, the people from Dallas. And I wanted to see what was going to happen. The first person to meet Gary and them was Karen Fairgate. You know, Michelle Lee. She was the first one to walk over. She's so housewifey, but kind of funny also. Um, invites them over to dinner immediately. Bobby's like, I'm just here to drop them off and I have to fly back home because of JR, you know, makes a joke about JR. I said this to JR, you know, and later on JR shows up, we'll talk about those episodes later, uh, but JR, but he taught JR and you'll see the house. Miss Ellie bought them the house in the cul-de-sac, they called it. And the furniture that went inside because Bobby said they felt guilty about what happened. Um, and it was like, and she wanted to make up for it, but, they also mentioned Lucy. And Lucy was a teenager back then. And they were like, you think we should have Lucy come out here? They're not ready. And so there's already kind of a secret. So this remarriage is a secret. They're a marriage so short before. They want to make sure this takes first before they actually tell Lucy and possibly bring her to California. Which I always keep thinking they have brought her to California. I can see her being like this 
Texas kind of rat princess in Los Angeles trying to make it work and just butting heads with the girls of her age in California, Southern California, the beaches, beachy girls, the girls in Hollywood. I think it'd be very interesting because um, she would come for money, of course. And we just see them be parents to her. We never really saw them be parents to her. I mean, there's a later episode where she does come out and she decides to go back, of course, but it's like a brief, it's like, it's, it's like that's the only time we ever see them really kind of be a parent to her. Um, I wish, I, I'd always wish there were more scenes. I wish Lucy made more trips out to Knott's Landing. I always also wished when um, she left Dallas for a little bit, she went to go to Knott's Landing and kind of be out there with them and got her and see what her and Paige would do or whatever. I mean, I mean that's a Knott's Landing character or you know, whatever. I just, I just heard of her and Olivia became friends. I mean, it would be interesting to see what could have transpired out there in California for Lucy and a dynamic, but um, they really showcased Gary and Val meeting the neighbors in the cul-de-sac. They said they, they set up the cul-de-sac really well. So we had this couple here and this couple here, and you can go to the Not Landing um, rewatch podcast on all, on all on platforms, on audio platforms. They talk about the actual episodes uh, there. My friends over there, but for the Gary, for the Dallas fans, it was very interesting to see. Uh, Gary in a new in a new setting, new actor that the Ewings would be in California. So you had Ewings in two places. Um, I thought it was so far that was always very fascinating. Um, and I was just to make sure I didn't forget everything. Um, your yeah, Bobby's are just to drop them off. Oh, the furniture. And I, I don't remember this the first time around, but I'm hearing it this time because I'm really, was really watching it. The furniture was extra furniture that was in the storeroom on South Fork. That's how big that house was and that all how rich they were. They had an extra house of furniture. You have to kind of laugh a little bit. They had an extra house of furniture and a storage unit. You know, so I think that's kind of that's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, that's everything for that. But that was Gary's first appearances. I want to thank you guys for the comments. You guys are always coming. Please continue commenting what you think. Um, and we're gonna and this will be future episodes where we talk about more stuff and Gary we come back up again and some not standing cross crossover connections. We'll be talking about that. Um, but thanks for watching or and or listening to this podcast about Dallas. Uh, I come out every week with a new episode. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, YouTube, JLJ Media is the page on audio services to go Dallas after show. They're everywhere. You check those out. And stay safe and we'll see you next time.